Uh, welcome and good morning to Mike Ferry TV, the week of August the 12th. Boy, I tell you, the year goes by quickly. I had a very interesting thing happen, and this was probably 60 days ago. While I was doing a promotional tour for our July Superstar Retreat, and I can't remember if it was May or June, but we had a young man, nice-looking, well-dressed professional, probably 35 years old, walk up to me at the break, and he, and he asked me a very interesting question, and there was a lot to the answer. And I, I, I wanted to today, during Mike Ferry TV, share with you the answer that I gave this young man. Here was the question he asked. And, and I had not met him before. This wasn't a setup. It wasn't a competitor trying to find out what I teach. It wasn't somebody trying to get the magic formula. It was a very honest, straightforward question, which quite honestly probably takes a couple of weeks to answer. And we'll do it quickly today. Here was the question. Mike, how do I get... 50 good saleable listings per year. Well, before I started to answer the question for him, I said, well, how many listings are you now taking per year? And he said, I'm, I'm doing a pretty good job. I, I take 10 to 12 listings a year, to which I said, congratulations. Obviously, 10 to 12 listings a year is one a month. 50 a year is one a week. So there's a big difference between the two levels of productivity. So I said to him, okay, 10 to 12 listings a year, how many of those sell? He said, normally about half. That's understandable. Okay, we take them overpriced. We take them at discounted commissions. You know, we, we take unmotivated sellers' listings, which we shouldn't be taking. I said, okay, then are you doing more than six to seven deals a year? Oh, I'm doing about 20, and the balance is by our controlled sales. But I'm sitting through this seminar with you today, I'm convinced that I need to be a listing agent. I said, okay, we have about, and I think I told him 16 minutes before we uh, go back to work in the seminar. Let me, let me give you the thoughts that I believe you have to master to take 50 listings a year. Here's what I said to him, number one, accept the fact that you're going to have to work on your skills more than you probably ever thought you would have to work on your skills. And I stood there and he took the time to write this thought down. I said, see, what we don't understand about real estate is that listing property is not complicated, it's not simple, but it's hard work because there's a lot of factors in listing property that do not apply to showing property to a buyer. The ability to pre-qualify in depth to make sure they really have the motivation to sell the ability to discover what their needs are, what they're trying to accomplish so you can walk in confidently and make a presentation. The ability to discuss in detail, not only the pricing and the terms, but how condition, location, other factors affect the sale. And then to bundle all that together in a way that they can say to themselves, you're the man, you're the woman to list this home and get it sold for us. So the skills are the critical aspect in becoming a great listing agent. And he wrote that down. So my question for each of you then is, what skills do you need to work on? What skills are you lacking? What skills do you have that we can enhance to make you a better listing agent? Then I said, number two, you're probably gonna need a complete revision of your work schedule. And he, he said, what do you mean? I said, well, if you're doing 10 to 12 buyer controlled sales and six listings sold. Most of your time is spent doing nothing. Don't get mad, doing nothing. He said, what do you mean I work all the time? I said, okay, all right, give me an example of your day. He said, well, I get in around nine and you know, I check my messages and then I check my emails and I've always got at least one deal pending so I work on that to make sure it's progressing. And I said, so now it's probably, what, 11 o'clock, 11.30? He said, yeah. And I said, then you go to lunch with some of the people in the office? Yeah. And I said, what do you do when you come back from lunch? He goes, well, I return any phone calls. I said, okay, now we're going to look at revising your work schedule. A listing agent's schedule is different than a showing agent's schedule. You know that. We both know that. Watch, if I'm going to list property, part of my job is to find people that want to sell their home. Part of my job is to practice and role play the scripts and dialogues I'll use during the listing presentation. Part of my job is to practice the objections I'm going to receive. So first of all, a, a, a listing schedule, you're practicing. 
But then second, you're trying to find, whether it be at the door or phone, prospective sellers, whether it be by owners, expired, past clients, centers of influence, etc. But then third, you've got to prepare for a listing appointment in detail. A complete CMA, net sheet, contracts, you know, all of your disclosure statements have to be prepared. You're preparing a pre-listing package and he went like this, whoa, we could spend the next hour on my schedule. I said, well, all I'm saying to you is you need a revision of your schedule. And he goes, okay, I got it. Then I said, third, you have to accept failing every day from all these experiences. Everything from prospecting, because you're going to meet new people and talk to people in your database, to a seller rejecting you, to a listing expiring or a deal falling apart. You're going to have to stand up tall and be bold and strong when it comes to failing, because you have to learn to fail forward, not fail backward. Meaning, I'm going to fail, but it's moving me towards the goals I've set. Then I said, number four, you have to master numbers. If you're going to be doing 50 deals a year, you got to keep track of everything you do. You got to keep track in detail. How many contacts did you make? How many people did you really have a conversation with? How many people uh, became a potential lead? Okay. Um, how many appointments have you gone on? How many contracts have you had signed? You're going to keep track of everything you do. How many of the people you contacted were from your database? How many were just as to just sold? The more details and numbers, and he went, oh, I'm not very good at numbers. I said, but that is a learned process, which you can learn. Then I said, number five, and this is the hard one. You have to be willing to give up doing what non-listing agents do. Everything from spending the day, don't get mad, on social media, to three trips a day to Starbucks, to trolling the internet looking for something, to holding an open house or working with a non-motivated buyer. And I'll never forget, he looked at me and he goes, what? What did you just say to me? I said, okay, watch. You have to be willing to give up all those things that non-listing agents do. Everything from spending the day on social media to three trips to Starbucks, to trolling the internet looking for something, to holding an open house or working with a non-motivated buyer. Um, I'm doing some work right now with a really great agent that is based here in Las Vegas. And the guy does 50, 60 deals a year and makes very good money. But he told me that he had become addicted to social media. And I said, well, okay, I'm not addicted to social media. I, I go on LinkedIn twice a day, early in the morning and late at, later in the afternoon. I said, so I don't understand. What do you mean addicted? He goes, well, I, I'm on social media three or four hours a day. I said, why? I want to know what everybody's doing. I said, okay, so if we're going to go from a wonderful job, 50 to 60 deals a year to 100, the first thing we have to do is we have to become addicted to something besides social media. And we both laughed about it. But people do get addicted to things like social media. You got to give that up if you're going to become a strong listing agent. Then I told him number six, your schedule must be set in stone. If you're not getting the results you want or you're being interrupted daily because of distractions, you got to identify the distractions and do something about it. The schedule that you have as a listing agent has to lead to a listing appointment or a listing that will help you achieve the goal you set. Now, if you can picture, we're eight minutes into our conversation right now, and he was looking at me a little skeptical. And then I said, number seven, your schedule has to have role play and practice, lead generation, lead follow-up, pre-qualifying, appointment preparation, returning calls, checking emails, working on deals, meeting with staff, and then going on appointments. And that's your schedule. And I think at this point he said, well, aren't we supposed to start back from the break? I think he was trying to break the conversation. And then I said, the last thing I'm going to say to you is, you have to start studying personality styles. You have to learn how to deal with all types of people. You're going to spend the next two or three years learning these important thoughts and the versatility that goes with it. And then the funniest thing happened, which I want to share with you. He looked at me and he actually went like this. Never mind. And he just walked away. Well, I thought I had done that young man a big favor by sharing these thoughts. In fact, 
I felt strong enough about them that I sat down real quickly and wrote down those eight thoughts. And then I presented them when I opened up the Superstar Retreat in July in Las Vegas back six weeks ago. Because those six thoughts on how to get 50 listings a year are vitally important. I'm assuming that you want to take more listings. Try those thoughts for yourself. Let's make this a great week. And it's going to be a great week because most of your competitors are on vacation during August. You're one of the handful that are working. Let's go make it a great week. Let's make it a very valid production week. And let's take a couple listings. Talk to you next week. Thanks for today.